What's up guys, me Mo here. Today I'm coming at you with some self-care items that I found at the Dollar Tree. Now if you know me, you know that I love the Dollar Tree because it everything's a dollar. Like literally everything is a dollar. There's some things that are here to miss, but you'll find some really good stuff in there like sample size almost products and you get to try out some of the good things and then you could just use that instead of going out and like buy a copious amount of something that may or may not work for you. You can just test out like interesting products and see how you like it and then find like really good products for a reasonable price you know stuff like that they've recently also added like a small section in some stores where there are items that are more than a dollar ranging from like one to three to five dollars i think i've seen ten to thirteen dollars depending on like the item or the store uh jesus it got bright <laughs> um but yeah usually everything's relatively cheap it's like really interesting I'm just gonna show you all the interesting things that I found I'm gonna start off with the more bath related stuff that my daughter actually picked out which was interesting um they have bath bombs they have just like little things of three like three bath bombs in a little thing and they usually interesting smells and my daughter found this one uh, I don't know if she realized that this was candy or not I didn't realize until we got home that it was Smarties flavored and it's grape Smarties flavored she actually enjoys bath bombs I don't like to give them to her too often just because she is a young female and I don't want her chemistries getting weird and stuff but this is non-toxic and ages five and up well she's four and she knows how to use it and I always watch her to make sure she doesn't eat it. She's actually been like supervisedly using them since she was three, but not like constantly. I don't, again, I'm not giving her these all the time, but I like that she does enjoy things that are bath related. So these are really cute. So far they smell really nice as far as I can smell. They smell grapey and yeah, they're super cute. And you get three of them and they're not small. Like you can get, they are small, they have smaller ones. If you want smaller ones, they have bath salts and stuff, but I didn't get any of those today. Another thing she picked out is this loofah. It's a really interesting little loofah that's in this shape. Ooh, that's really random. Is this supposed to be the handle? Sh yeah, okay. Yeah, this is cute. She's she just started getting into a theme of like liking purple things, and she also likes green. So she picked this out. It's really soft. It's um, this is a cute little loofah. They have a lot of different loofahs. Actually, they have um loofahs on a stick. Sometimes you'll see, or a really long braided loofah. So you can just get loofahs of all different types from the store. But that's what she picked out. And the rest of this stuff is stuff that I picked out. Um, I'm going to see what direction I want to go into. So that's like bath and body. So I guess I'll go with body. So I got these nice. Okay, so these are first of all the most aesthetic packaging I have seen in such a long time. Well, it's unless you're going for the super bougie. We got really different. We have like three different scented body oils. There might be more scents. And there are definitely some aromatherapy stuff that they have. But I don't have any of that. I have maybe one fragrance oil that I'm going to show you in a bit. But they have three different body oils. And I think these are, yeah, these are little sprays. Um, so we have watermelon and sweet mint, rose water and aloe, and cucumber and aloe. So I have a really, so I've used this specific brand's stuff before, just like their fragrance spray, just as a cheap little body mist to spray on to freshen up and then I, I like it it's very kind of manly I'm not sure if it's rose water and cucumber or something or aloe or something but it's it's by this brand and it's one of these smells and I'm very interested to see how this these work because they're super cute I think I want to try them as well um yeah give me a second I'll try them is there chips someone got chips on them because they were not like this before <laughs> there's chips in my bag it was my fault. Oh no. So I took them out of their bottles and they have very minimal packaging. I, they, I guess they're just like labeled for the smell, which is a little underwhelming considering how pretty the box is. But um, it is what it is. It's a dollar store, you know. So I'm going to smell these. This is the cucumber and aloe one. That smells really nice. My coffee is... I'm going to move that away because I just started sniffing really hard and my coffee was like, mm, smell me too. I'm like, no, stop. You're not even hot anymore. Why? It smells nice. The cucumber is like oddly sweet. Um, I'm going to try one of these on at the, after I'm done smelling them all. Let me try to explain what this smells like. 
It definitely smells like cucumbers. There's a sweetness in there. I feel like the aloe gives it a more manly smell. Is that is that what aloe usually smells like? I guess some people says that aloe smells like B.O. So look, I guess it's giving it a nice musky smell. So it does give it a more manlier scent, which I don't mind. I'm looking at the consistency of it. Can you see it? Oh no, do you hear those big bumping footsteps? Jesus Christ, my husband's coming. <laughs> I'm putting that in the end of the video. <laughs> All right, try this. What's for lunch? Uh, it's your turn to cook. I could, I could do that in breakfast. Do this, do this, tap together, okay. I smell like a bad bitch. A bad bitch? It's like, um, Is it sweet? It smells sweet, right? Yeah, it smells like fruit. Fruit? It's cucumber and aloe. I was trying to figure out how that smells. The aloe makes it smell like pop rocks. Pop what? Pop rocks. Look, put it in my mouth. <laughs> so we got his input on that smell. Hello, child. Mm. I'm back with some rose water and aloe. Let's see how that smells. I can really smell the rose. Oh, the rose is so... F I don't know. I've been starting. I don't know if it's my age or something, but rose has really been getting to me as like a comforting, sweet, girly smell that's like mature. And the aloe... I feel like the aloe is a little musky. No, I'm trying to see if it's not my hand, but like... I'm not trying to like get it on me and then mix smells or anything, but yeah, I, I have to, I have to spray it on something. So I'm going to, I have a wet wipe here for like another one of the items, but I'm going to spray it on here just to get it out of the tube. And I smelt it more um, after I sprayed it on him because it was more on the, this piece. So now that I sprayed it a little bit, oh, that's really rosy. It's a nice, gentle, rosy smell. A little mature, so if you don't like too mature smells, you know, you're not going to like it. But it's not also going to smell like old perfume. You're just going to smell like roses, which I feel like is a mature scent. So, yeah, I like it. The aloe doesn't really come across here. The rose really just takes over. But, yeah, I like that. And um, I'm going to see the consistency when I try whichever one I'm going to try. I do like the cucumber and aloe, my favorite for now. I haven't gotten the watermelon and sweet mint. Um, okay, the watermelon smells really nice. I'm going to spray it. Okay. Oh, that's cute. It just It just smells like watermelon. The aloe does bring in a, like an underlayer. I guess I understand what it means by pop rocks. It's like a pop rocky underlayer. Ooh, that's cute. Do I want to smell like watermelon today? Watermelon and sweet mint. There is no aloe. Watermelon and sweet mint. That's the smell I'm smelling. Is a mint in the sweetness. This is a sweet watermelon smell. It's like watermelon. Not the way watermelon tastes, but like. Have you do you know what a watermelon smell is? Like it's a different thing than the taste. And the mint complements it well. So I think I'll put this on today. I don't feel like I'm in a very mature mood. I have a messy bun and I'm trying to try out styles and I don't know. Oh, it smells nice. Okay. I'm gonna try it on my wrist or on my arm. And we're gonna see. It's very watery. Which is nice for if you want to spread this around very easily, I guess. Ah, oh, that smells nice. Okay. The mintiness isn't too bad. It just kind of adds a dynamic. Okay, and the oil feels... It's not too bad. It's like, I feel like it's going to soak into my skin. Maybe I can put on my ashy elbows, you know. If I wanted a little nice little fragrance you know my ab my elbows ashy you know i'm wearing a short sleeve yeah it's not too strong it's just like oh yes i'm existing and i'm wafting in the air and it smells nice it's nice and the and it's not too sticky either actually it's not sticky at all it's just like you feel like you put oil on your skin but yeah 
So it's it's a fragrance oil is what it is. So I wouldn't put it on my face or anything because it's it's an oil. I have oily skin and like there's some oils you can put on your face, but I don't think that's what this is for. It's a body oil. It just smells really nice. I'm really glad I got this because I've been looking for different fragrances and I'm not looking for crazy name brands. I might get Scentbird later in my life, but for now, these are really nice for me. I do like Roll-On Scents. And again, their packaging that came in was so cute that like I am like satisfied with my purchase like when I put in my cart I'm just like oh it's so cute and actually the packaging being so neutral is actually kind of nice because like everything having like a bright ass color you know doesn't really mix well if your theme is black and white which my theme is a little bit more on a bunch of weird neutrals I don't know I'm trying to get my bathroom situated all right next thing we have okay so since we're in the oil um, area. So we got a fragrance oil. I thought this was interesting because they had this one and then like another flavor that I don't even remember, but it wasn't very interesting to me. So I didn't want to buy it. I'm only going to show you guys things that I'm interested in, which is why I showed you those because they're super cute. It is caramel flavored. No, I'm interested because it's by Luminescence and like this is like an experimental flavor that they just released in the dollar store to see how people like it. Like, explain. And can I put this in my diffuser without destroying my diffuser? Is this something that I'm going to have to like just place in weird ways to get the smell? That smells lovely. That smells like, it smells like caramel. It smells more like brown sugar. No, it doesn't actually. It smells like caramel. It smells exactly like what you think caramel is, which is caramel. This is a lovely smell. Ooh, it's perfect for fall. I should have got more. <laughs> but my house has been, like, my thing is, um, been apple cinnamon, so the caramel would be weird. What? I don't know, caramel apple? I don't know, I can see. I haven't melted any of my candles yet because I've been trying to see if there was any fall candles that I can get from the dollar store, but they didn't have any. Well, not at this dollar store. Because this one has less candle stuff, which makes me very sad. But I did find the fragrance oil, which could be nice. But uh, maybe after I'm done burning my apple cinnamon. Because I'm not going to like swish the smell of my house in the middle for no reason. When like half melted candles. But this is really nice. I will s I'll be doing this sometime around Thanksgiving time, probably. That's probably when I run out of apple cinnamon candles. Because I, I love apple cinnamon candles. Um, so yeah. Not a body product, but it's it's self-care for me to have my house smell nice. Um, next, I guess, product. I'm not going to use on myself right now. And, and neither will the next product after it because I'm already wearing makeup and stuff. I found a damn jade roller here. It is the My Beauty Spot Professional Personal Care Collection Relieve and Soothe Jade Facial Roller. It promotes blood circulation, which is beneficial for elasticity and even skin tone, reducing puffiness, overall complexion, tighten to minimize skin's visible pores. And it is it's solid inside. It says how to use. Wash face, then roll jade roller twice daily, morning and night. Use favorite essential oils. To maximize result, I think you mean serum. You would not use an essential oil on your face. That's not what they're made for. They're made for, I don't know. They're not even made. They're just oils, okay? They're just, they're not made for skin. What you want to tell people is put your favorite serum or moisturizer on and then roll your face. Anyway, it's, it's just, it's a brand at the dollar store. They're still learning. Um, If I could open this because I, I tore the top and holy crap. Give me, oh, I got it. All right, cause this is, okay, so this is heavy. This is hefty, hefty, can you hear this? That thing is alive. Rolls pretty well. I'm not gonna put it on my face cause I have on makeup, but, and that's a real, that's a real jade. And the handle's jade too. Guys, look how pretty this is. It's gorgeous. I can put it in my skincare fridge. It's cute and small. It's just, um, I'm sorry. And it's, this is real metal. This isn't plastic or anything. This is amazing. I saw 
someone either talk about it or I saw it on the website. I love the website because I can see, I can find things. And I also find that things I find in store aren't on the website, which means they're not everywhere, which means I got lucky. Like I got a whole bunch of water bottles once and I didn't see them anywhere else. And so I got every color and I was happy. So this is interesting. I'm, I'm excited to incorporate this. Okay. Okay. So I can easily clean it up. I'm pretty sure application would have been a little less messy had I been able to actually see. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit. It feels nice and buttery and it's very clearly matte. It's a really bright pink. Um, but you can definitely tell there isn't really any shine. I'm not sure if you can put shine on top of this, but I don't know why you would buy a matte lipstick just to put shine on top when you could have just got a gloss. So I'm not even going to test that because that's not even, it doesn't even make any sense. I don't know if it's going to dry down or not, but I'm just going to, this is such a, this is such a pretty color. If I was doing like, I don't know what I would be doing. It smells nice. It smells, it smells like what it, it's velvet a smell. It smells creamy. It smells mature and comforting. It reminds me of my childhood, like a childhood lipstick that isn't like overpowering. It's just very gentle. I love the way this looks. And it's so hydrating. Like, it's so soft. I'm going to wipe this off and put on the other color just to see how that looks. Also, that's the color I really do want to wear today. <laughs> um... Okay, this one has a little less in the tube up here. Ah, okay. So maybe this could be a little bit more controlled because now I have a, a mirror. So putting this on, if it was a doe foot applicator, if it was a little bit more pointed at the end, it would be easier. If it was like, you know, shaped a little bit more like almost a lipstick, you know? Like it had like some sort of a point in any way, it would be easy because I always get like some on this side. I'm going to use this. Clean it up. Good thing is it's easy to clean up because it's not like a super dry matte. Ooh, this is bright. This looks more red than it does orange. So I'm in love with these lipsticks and next time I go, I'm getting more colors. And even if it looks too light, maybe it won't be because this one looks... It's a jade roller, baby. I love your lips. You love my lips? Yeah. Would you see my lips? No, you put some on you? Yes. My lips are green. So, so far, I don't think this is going to dry down. I think it's going to be nice and hydrating for a while. And I think it's going to stay... It's very easy to clean up around the edges. I could just wipe it away and it, it doesn't really stain until you leave it there for a couple minutes. Um, do you like the color? Yes. Mm -hmm. I still want pink. You want pink? No, you can't switch colors now. We're not doing this. There's so many chip crumbs on your lip. We're not. <laughs> so anyway, I enjoy this. This is really cute. I might take pictures like this, actually. So you might get spoilers on my social media, which are linked down below. Oh. And her butthole stickage. Ah! It's on my teeth. On my teeth. Do you? Mm hmm. Oh. Do you oh, know what you gotta do? Good. And you should be good. Mom, it looks really mom. weird and provocative, huh? No, you don't need that. I, I specifically placed it so you didn't need to do that. Also, I didn't put enough. I'm definitely not sticking my finger in your mouth. Yeah. Uh. My lips are built different, so you gotta clean that up. I don't know. Anyway, I enjoy this. I love it. It smells like lipstick. It tastes like lipstick. Very solid formula as well. Like, I only need one coat. It's, I love it. Anyway, so that's all I have for you guys today. I will definitely be on the lookout for more because that surprised the hell out of me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Um, I hope I explained everything. If you have any suggestions of things I should try and find at the Dollar Tree, that'd be great. Or different stores that are like the Dollar Tree. Don't play Five Below because the, the closest Five Below for me is like an hour away. And I, I'm not driving an hour away to go to Five Below or my husband's not driving. I'm eight months pregnant. I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you. Bye. The best test of What's up, guys? It's me, Mo here. Come here, bring me your arm. Try this smell on for take me. I shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>